My name is Emily van der Hayden. I work in the Microelectronics Support Centre as a microelectronic engineer. We work to enable universities throughout Europe to design integrated circuits for their research. So making electronics to detect um, physical phenomena, whether that's a detector in the LHC or an instrument for a satellite or something like that. I enable people to make the electronics, I teach them how to design those electronics and um, we provide the, the software and the support for them to do that. I really enjoy the, the public engagement aspect of my work, interacting with our users, over 600 universities throughout Europe. I teach people, I train them face to face. I'm also working with key members in the electronic design automation industry. We're providing real world solutions. So ultimately we want people to, to make chips, to make detectors, to make sensors and the circuitry that goes around that, to make our experiments happen in an efficient, cost effective way that we can deliver our projects on time and on budget. The science here is world-leading, cutting-edge science and the engineering required to make that happen is at the, the forefront of its field. Things like the Rosetta mission landed on a comet recently, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. Um, the technology department is involved in providing the underpinning engineering for all of those um, solutions and those missions um, and that's really exciting part of what we do here. I really enjoy working here because of the, the variety of people and projects I get to work with. There are world leading experts here that you can ask and be challenged by. I enjoy applying my engineering knowledge to electronics for, for the public good, for fundamental science. I get a real buzz out of um, applying what I know to those situations because it's not the same as the electronics that you might find in, in your house, in your pocket. It's a very different operating environment and designing the electronics for those situations has a set of unique challenges that need to be solved and that's really really interesting.